What's up everyone? So I'm in New York City. We're gonna be checking out the One Step Plus from Polaroid Originals. I actually already did a video on this, so if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be up in the iCard. Basically, we're gonna be checking out the new features. They did a couple new redesigns, added an extra lens. They actually have an app for it now. So we're in my friend Greer's studio with Eddie Spaghetti. Listen, Spaghetti, Eddie, Eddie Spaghetti, EddieSpaghetti.com. If you don't got the spaghetti, you don't got the Eddie. That's how you spell Eddie. E-T-T-I Spaghetti.com, fashion, New York City, whatever. Got a lot of friends, a lot of enemies, and a lot of homies. That's that. Let's go. <laughs> Here's the studio. This is where we're gonna be uh, filming all the videos. No, I'm gonna teach him how to do it because he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> you just open up here and then you pop her in. We already got a roll in there, so we gotta, we gotta yeah, throw that out. Camera I got as a gift. Yeah, I have the original. It shoots SX70 film. What's interesting is they named this one One Step Two and this one One Step Plus. Look at this. Not like One open Step Two Plus, you know. First, we're gonna be checking out the new design on these cameras. I actually kind of like the One Step Plus a little bit more, just because. I'm the old one step, the original that shoots SX70 film. It actually has like a line like this on it. So I, I like that callback. And then it of course has two lenses now instead of one fixed lens. So in the new one step plus, it has a closed viewfinder instead of the open viewfinder you have on the one step two. What's nice about the closed is that when you look through it, it actually sets a frame rather than looking through this, you can actually see everything around you. So it's a little harder to set your frame. It has the same exposure comp, same tripod mount. It has the same flash, you just hold the button to not shoot with a flash. Eddie Spaghetti's take on design of the Polaroid One Step and One Step Plus. <laughs> yeah, get it. This is his part. Comfort on the viewfinder here. It is closed as JD did mention. Rubber, very soft, so hit yourself in the eye. It doesn't hurt as much if you hit yourself in the eye on this one. As well, since it's not closed, I'm seeing from the left and the right. So my photos might be left and right, not just straight ahead. So another cool feature about the One Step Plus versus the One Step 2, it actually has Bluetooth in it and can connect to your smartphone if you have the app. And what that gives you is the ability to take like self-timer photos, self-portraits, and you can actually do double exposure now. One of the biggest features on this camera is the fact that it actually has two lenses now that you can switch between. So in the old one step, you actually only had one lens, just like all other Polaroids. It's an infinity focus lens. You shoot, everything's in focus. The depth of field, there's basically nothing. It's just like everything is in focus. But what's nice about being able to switch is the fact that now you can take a little bit more serious portraits on this camera versus any other Polaroid. You can switch between the landscape mode or you can switch to a portrait mode. Okay, so setting up the camera right now, they say it's pretty easy. So we have to press this button. Okay, it's blue, there we go. Oh, let's connect. Wow, okay, so it tells you how many photos you have, what the battery's like. So we have remote firing, I don't wanna use that. Self timer, especially for self portraits, you can like take it yourself. Oh, it tells you whether or not you're in portrait mode or standard landscape mode. That's nice. You can set double exposures, so it'll tell you that you're on the first one, you shoot it and then you shoot it again and it'll be on the exact same frame. Light painting, oh wow. So it turns, so you, so you can like light paint, that's cool. Noise triggering, what? Gotcha, so the volume, so that your volume will ah! dictate it. No, <laughs> you're trying to get it. Ah! And then manual mode, oh can, wow, full manual on this. I can set it off, go back to noise. And then settings, okay cool. <laughs> Tons of features on this, that's crazy. All right, All right, Eddie, you ready to shoot? Ready, Eddie? Three, two, one. All right, don't move. Three, two, one. Why are you firing the What do you mean? Because I like it. We'll do one without and we'll test it. We'll see the difference. So to, to shoot without the flash, you have to press this button nope. and hold so it. Can you shoot on the same camera? Yeah, yeah. Portrait mode, baby. With the flash and without the flash. I know it. And then this one, look, look uh, this direction instead. Three, two, one. All right. There we go. That's enough photos to compare. Paint.
paint buckets. Yeah, perfect. I like it. I can't see it though. It's flashing for me. It's okay. Three, two, one. It's kind of hard to shoot with two Polaroids. All right, ready? Three, two, one. All right, let's go to this light. I wanna see what the light's like. Come stand in it. Stand closer to it, I wanna see if it hits you. I'm telling you where to shoot, bro. I know where the light's hitting. Go closer. It's hitting right here. Go closer. Keep going. All right, let me do one without a flash. I wanna compare. Ready? Turn your, cha your face a little more this way. There you go. And then look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Three, two, one. Cool. Right now we're gonna be using the app to do a dual exposure. My idea behind it is we'll shoot Eddie on this white plain back wall, and that'll be the first exposure. And then we'll go outside and get like a textural, I don't know, like a tree or buildings or something to, to lay on top. Um, so we'll see if that works. All right, you ready? Go a little bit more this way with your face, like with your chin. There you go. Ready? Three, two. Cool. Let's do. So it keeps Wait, what? Should I just pinch it, put, put it out? Yeah. Oh, maybe you have to do it with the actual app. That's what I'm saying. You have to, you have to actually take the photo with the app, with the maybe. App. Yeah, okay. Didn't realize that. That's all right. Good thing we have a little more photo. So, if you're watching, you have to take it with the actual app, otherwise it just takes the photo. So we just burned a, we just burned a photo. So what the, so how am I supposed to do it? I look through it yeah, and do it at the same time? To no, I'm gonna do it, I'm yeah. gonna do it. Yeah, because you should be able to do it by yourself. You can't. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, cool. Yeah, so now it's on the second exposure. All right, let's go outside. Can we go out here and we'll get it? Yeah, I don't like that. They should change it. So Polaroid Originals, here's an update for you. It should just, you should set it as a setting on the app and then just be able to shoot it with the camera. Cause to have this up and have to like figure out how to press this, it doesn't really work very well. So I'm gonna do this building in the sky cause I think it'll look cool over like his face. You have to remember what the shot was before so that you know what to play, like where to place things. So his face was like dead center. Uh, I feel like I'd rather have something that's like framing him. Okay, I got an idea. So I'm gonna shoot through this tree and it's a little open here and hopefully his face will be in that opening and the leaves will like double expose around him. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. All right, ready? See, this doesn't really work. Three, two, one. Cool. And that's it, that's a double exposure. Yeah, we gotta shoot two photos for me from my Instagram today. All right, so we're gonna be shooting some, some photos with the self-timer. Test it out, me and Eddie Spaghetti in the studio. We had to switch to black and white film, uh, which will be nice. I wanna see, I wanna test it out with this camera too, so. All right, let's set the timer for, let's do like three seconds. All right, you got three seconds when I say go. Go. Three seconds. We can all be in it. Let's all be in it. Matt, point it at the thing while we're ready. Ready? Three seconds. Three. I'm gonna inspire this. Two. Hope it gets it. One. We have to redo it. Redo it. All right. Let's do uh, the noise one since that's what you want to do so badly. All right. So here's the noise trigger. We're gonna test it out. So I guess I'm gonna set this up over here. So then it's close to us. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, just scream something not the curse phone. word. It'll just drop, it's fine. Just leave it. Get it. You gotta go louder, man. I can't see, I mean, black, I can point 
Let's try light painting really fast. I want to see what that's like. Yeah, we have to go somewhere a little bit darker. Here's our home, homemade tripod. So this is the app. So when you when you click it, you have to click the, the shutter, paint, and then it'll tell you how long you've been painting for. And then you just click the button again to actually close the, uh, the lens. So it's essentially a two-stop timer. You just like click, take it, click, off. All right, so we're just waiting for the photos to be done developing, and then we're gonna check them out, compare them. How long do you think that would take? Five to 10 minutes. All right, so let's... The right side is the new camera, and the left side is the old camera. Obviously, there's no huge differences between the two photos. I think it's a little easier to frame with the barrel on the One Step Plus versus the original. And then obviously, it has portrait mode and a couple more features. I'll do another video where I test out portrait mode a little bit more just to give you guys a better idea of it. And then I'll also do one on the double exposure feature too. All right guys, so that's about it for the One Step Plus. If I missed anything, make sure to rip me apart in the comments. I wanna see what you guys say about the new camera. I'm gonna be taking more Polaroids with One Step. So if you wanna see those, make sure to check out my Instagram. It's just at Josh David. And I'm actually gonna be giving away a couple of these. So if you wanna see that video, make sure to subscribe. It'll be coming out probably later this week. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Look at that, get paid. Get away. Such a weirdo. <laughs>